Kendall, first of all, you don't look like you have enough fun. I know, I'm just out here trying to enjoy myself and meet, meet lots of cool people and uh, enjoy some food. Now, I know you're new, you're new to San Diego, but the Taste of the Cove is the annual kickoff to, you know what, football season is around yeah. the corner. Is this your first time being here? Yeah, this is the first time. Uh, I didn't make it out last year, so I definitely wanted to come out this year. And uh, it's really fun, it's really great. Tons of cool people, and um, it's, it's great so far. You're an East Coast guy. What have you enjoyed most about living in San Diego? And if I, I believe you live at the beach area, right? Um, if you look behind us, that's the ocean, so that's one of the big reasons why I love living out here, so you can't complain about that. What's been the biggest adjustment going from East to West? Um, well, one is the time, so in China, when I talk to everyone back home, I gotta can't hit them up too early or too late. So, I mean, besides that, no, it's just, yeah, it's very nice. I, I love it out here. All right, now talk to me about this new defensive line group, because last year you had the godfather. You had Jacques Césaire in your group. You had Von Martin, who was the, the bigger brother when the season started. Who's taking over that leadership role in that group this year? Um, You know, definitely Cam Thomas. You know, he's been here the longest. He, Yeah, he's uh. He's, he's been around the block a little bit, so um, he's definitely, you know, stepping up as a leader. And, you know, Corey, you know, he's, he's like a natural-born leader. So, you know, those guys are definitely stepping up and doing their thing. When we had you and Corey Legion on together, you guys talked about, about uh, personal goals for the defensive line. And he mentioned double-digit sacks. Yeah. How unusual is that for defensive ends in a 3-4 defense? Um, it's not usual, but it's, uh, it's very possible. So, you know, we're going to do everything we can to, you know, do that and also win a lot of football games. Monday, speaking of football games, Monday night, it's, yeah. it's, fine, it's finally go time. Chargers, Texans, all white. How are you excited for the, How excited are you for this game? I'm uh, definitely excited. been looking forward to it for a very long time. And uh, you know, just ready to go play some football. It's, it's that time of the year, so I'm definitely excited for it. What do you see when you watch, when you, what do you see when you watch Arian Foster that makes him? I think John Pagano says that he has, his vision is ridiculous. I mean, he seems to, the way he evades uh, the, the tackle. Uh, you know, he's a, he's a big guy, he's got good speed, and he has really, really good balance. So I think that's what makes him, uh, you know, tough to take down. Batted passes. Last year it was, I think, J.J. Watt led all the NFL in 16, Corey Legion in 9. How difficult is that for, for a person to do as far as, as, far as instinct and ability? Uh, depends which way you look at it. But, uh, you know, if you're near the quarterback and you get a lot tons of pressure, they're going to try to throw the ball above you. So if you get your hands up, you know, you, get, you definitely knock down some passes. So... Both of those guys are very good at what they do. Okay, last question. Not many people are going to probably pick the Chargers to win the West. I think people have already given it to, to the Denver Broncos. Why do you think that you can you, – why can't the Chargers surprise people this season? Um, you know, we're, we're going to win a lot of games just because we, we just take it one, one day at a time. And, one day at a time. And right now our focus is all, is all on the Texans, so that's all that matters at this moment. Thank you very much, Kendall. Go eat some food. Yeah. yeah.